what are some of the things that they're learning while they're here? They learn about the legend of the Fountain of Youth, mm -hmm. all right, how that came to be. They get some of the water, get to taste that. Then they can go to a planetarium where they'll learn about how the early explorers used the stars to navigate. Mm -hmm. We have a Discovery Globe show that shows the routes of the early explorers. Mm -hmm. We have an Indian village where live uh, reenactors will talk about the village of Saloy. We have a cannon firing, a blacksmith that works with the metal. We have uh, an archivist. I arc Becero that shoots an arquebus, a matchlock wow. firearm. That's so that's so cool. A lot to see here. Once again, lots to see and lots again open every almost every day. Every day know. except for Christmas, I believe. I want to talk about the water itself and the fountain itself. Who discovered it? Was it actually discovered? Help me out a little bit with that. Okay, so when uh, Ponce de Leon got here in 1513. Right, a little first, further north, right? Further north, he uh, took his reading at 30 degrees at inch, which is north of here. Yep. He needed to find for a safe harbor, okay? Right. He needed to make repairs to his ships, get provisions, and he thinks this is an island. Instead of going around the island, which is a good thing he didn't because it was Would've much bigger. Would have been quite some time, yes. yes. <laughs> he turns around looking for first safe harbor. St. Augustine would have been in it. Probably saw the fires, the smokes coming from the Tumukins village, of them trying to dry out after a storm that they had for about two days. Yep. They come in, they're greeted warmly by the friendly Tumukins. That's a winning moment. Mm -hmm. They have water. They had at that point in time, it was an artesian spring. The water came up to the surface with its own pressure. When you were down there, you'd be standing knee deep in that water. Got All it. right. Was this the actual spot? This was the actual spot right wow. here. That's pretty cool. That is cool. And uh, like I said, they stay here for five days. They, the sailors and the, uh, the Spaniards, they all look at these Tamukans. We're all healthy and vibrant. And some of them were 60, 70 years old. Where a European, if he lived to be 40, that was a major achievement. Correct. I so should have been dead five years ago. So, I understand. Yes. So, you know, that goes with the legend that they had these healthy Tamukans. They had this fresh water. And uh, that's how the legends begin. But I think it's worth noting. Ponce de Leon wasn't looking for this. He was never looking for magic water, ever. Yeah. He was looking for new land so he can become the governor of that because he recently lost his governorship in Puerto Rico. Right. And so he was looking for that. He was looking for gold. He was looking for spices. He was never looking for magic water. Got it. And it's safe to note that when we say, well, how many of these exist, this very thing? There's only one of them in the whole world. And it's here. Correct. And you can come in any day and, and take a little sample. You can uh, bring your own bottle with you if you like and fill it up and take it with you. Really? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I am a Visco girl, so that's another matter altogether. Dan, thank you for this. Let's thank go you. try a little water. So Absolutely. Real quick, before the, the masses really. Absolutely. Come on, let's, let's go do, do that. This.